Okay, okay, okay. We got Mr. Dance Champion himself, Lamar. Look, Lamar, there's a lot circulating around right now that a lot of other upper level head administrators of Dance Champions are trying to have you step down from your position. How do you feel about that? Well, let me just say, <clears throat> let me just say, it's not about stepping down from the position. That's that's first and foremost, because there is no stepping down from my position. There is no stepping down. They don't get no higher than me. No higher, okay. But uh, it's about removing the name, my name, from dance champions in order to gain different viewers, for, uh, considering the fact that I'm supposedly have all this bad reputation and nobody wants to do a Marty show and the groups can't sell tickets to people because of Marty's show and it's gonna be a fight. Let me address that. First thing first, I never had a I never had a I never had a fucking fight at none of my shows. That's first and first and foremost. I never I had a mere argument at a show, one show, and out of how many years I've been giving shows it's since fucking 1999. I never had a fucking fight. I don't know where they get that from. Right. All right. Second of all, all this trouble me getting and shit like that. All right. I don't know none of my motherfucking dancers that ever been around me that dance with me, carry the attitude, the, the, the image, or any other shit that some of these other choreographers been fucking putting out here. Ain't none of my dancers ever been to fuck Ratchet. Ain't none of them ever been no motherfucking fights. Ain't never been known to be in no shit. So if I'm the biggest motherfucking troublemaker, then why none of my offsprings and other people I deal with is on that motherfucking type time? That's that bullshit and excuse that motherfuckers want to keep running with that's so played out from 1990 fucking whenever, or 2001 or whatever, and some shit that when I was, what, 20, fucking two or three years the fuck old with some shit, acting, acting like I did when you got the best fucking group, that's what the fuck you do, you act like that, all that bullshit about troublemaking, ain't none of them ever been in a fight or, or a disagreement because of the fuck Marty, so none of them motherfuckers had nothing we do positive, nothing, and I'm at every motherfucking March community league, every fucking thing you name, I'm the fuck damn ready to be somewhere today. So I don't give a fuck about all that shit. So they need to keep that shit where it's at. And that's how I feel about addressing that. So ain't nobody never been no motherfucking troublemaker for, from nobody. Cause ain't, I never trouble weak with, with my crew. Why the fuck? What joy do I get out of seeing somebody else's crew go at it instead of my motherfucking crew when I want all the wins? What the fuck they mean? Who do you think is the strongest crew right now? Let's touch on that. We're from dance champions. Or from the city. You know, it's a lot of other crews that's not within. They all strong. They all strong in their own ways. Um, I'm not really fucking with a lot of crews right now, cause uh, not not because I just don't want to, or cause I'm, I mean I'm just like right now. They uh, if I have to break it down, I break it down strong real quick for each one. Uh, on Serenity, they got energy and 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 they got a lot of members and they got a lot of heart. And I don't see another group matching that as far as energy. And as far as a lot of heart. As far as Deadly, I like Deadly. I think they probably like one of the top crews. They got like a lot of moves and they changed up their style a little bit, which was which was which which was needed. Like dancing to the dubstep and the and the and the, and the techno and and, and um uh, rave music. I think that's that's start they starting to step away from the whole thing they used to do. Uh premonition question mark, like Anyway, uh, high definition question mark. Like, right? it's it's these crews. All right, premonition. Uh, they probably got like the best choreography. Far as if individually look at just the choreography, they got the best choreography. As far as I see, uh, Justin and them. Justin got the best concept, and as far as like putting it together, he he know how to put it together. Like, you know how to tell a story. Right. right, he can tell it. He can tell it better than. The ones he go against, like I don't think he on the level with Chick or you know or somebody like that, but he he put it together very well. He put it together better than Eric Eric Taj or or any of the other young choreographers that's out there. No shade. Uh, Main Main to me probably is like uh, he has the best choreographer mind. He understands what it means to be a choreographer. Which to where is though. He not going. He not going to limit himself just to revolution, and he not going to limit himself just to 
to True or or to Jabo or to any of the other artists <clears throat> that he worked with, he's all over the place with it. And when you're a choreographer, that's what that's what you that's what you should want to do. You should never just oh my group and that's all I'm doing because that's crazy. I ain't never heard of that. And then and when you're doing it, you should always want to do local because. You ain't nobody, so you need to be with all the local artists. Every, basically, all the local artists that's coming out and up and coming, they should know who you is because once they get put on, they gonna need a choreographer. Um, that's just that. Nice, nicely put. I think I like that. I think I'm gonna use that in, in, my, in my reference book as well. <laughs> uh, that's how you do it. Yeah. I'm hearing uh, from a couple, couple, couple sources, you know, that I hear from that it was okay. It was, you know, mediocre. Yeah, I mean, okay. As far as the TLA go, first of all, I wasn't a choreographer. That's first and foremost. Second of all, uh, um, which, which, which episode with Jabo or with uh, Shiliano? With M. Dot Nikki? You can do both. Let's do. Of a fuck the bullshit. Uh, M. Dot Nikki. First of all, let me make this motherfucking clear. All right, with M. Dot, I don't understand how the fuck she was expecting to get anything as far as getting paid out of it. You dance like 20 seconds. All right, that's and then you miss rehearsal. So I don't understand. And if y'all trying to be professionals in this game, if you was doing it professional, they take your pay for that. They cut your pay and they dock your pay for mistakes like this. I don't know who, who's telling these dancers that it's okay to go out there and look at stupid behind somebody. This is an artist. And no matter if you went out, they're not saying she didn't put her thing down because overall she did dance her ass off. But by the same token, that you have to look at the timing that 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 was put out there. All right, second. All right, first of all, no, second of all, uh, that's I don't even know that's first or second. All this is one, but either way you look at it, first of all, Jermaine didn't have enough fucking heart to tell her that he didn't need her. That's the only reason why she was even there. And when he replaced her, replacement made replacement. <laughs> it was supposed to been. Uh, I paid for two dancers. Main threw itself in there to even off to make it four, and then they had to divide it. These motherfuckers didn't want to give me $20. And like, I had to come back and tell them a different story in order to get $20 from them. Like, that don't make no fucking sense. I don't know who they talked to or who they thought they was talking to. I was the person that gave the board the okay to even fucking talk to them because they talked to me first. I don't even understand how they don't get it. I'm not nobody's manager. I'm not. I never said I was nobody's manager. But when it come down to shit like this, and I'm the one that's networking that shit up in here, and that shit go down on my page, then I'm the motherfucking head honcho for that shit. And when I make decisions, it stands. If they don't fucking like it, then you ain't gonna make it nowhere in this business if you can't take orders and then you can't take direction from somebody. That's then job. Okay, that's that's once again. Okay, yeah, let's talk about that. Again, the job again, show. That's that's main again. Not saying that the choreography was weak. Not saying that anything like that, because it wasn't. It was just that his professionalism through the whole process was just shot. And he didn't understand that, okay, they have to be ready. Now, Buzz got up there and froze, and just, like, really, really froze. I, I've never seen him do that. And, and But dancers do that, and performers do that. But that was just a little, you know what I mean? And that was something that the choreographer should have had known before you put a dancer on stage on that level. Because he didn't know, I could, he won't freeze again. But he froze that time, and I think I don't know what it was. But also the way the transition was on and off the stage and things like that was just a little shady. And I just thought that you know he, he looked it, the the overall work looked inexperienced. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem with with man. That's not something he does. So that he background dance himself, but he never had to put the show together. So he didn't understand the levels to it. That is not like a dance crew. You can't just throw dances together. And say this is a routine. You can't do that with background dance. You have to make sure that you're in a certain lane, that the dancers know where they at. It was a time where Buzz was freestyling on the side, when he should have been freestyling in the center because there was two girls out there. You know what I'm saying? It was just certain things that he didn't know, but I, he did the guy because he got a good instructor. Okay, that's what I like there. Uh, and those who decided. To take your name off of all the promotions and all the shows and you know all that good stuff. Man, I feel like this. First of all, I felt like that was that was not rotten. I don't care if it's for one show or two show or three shows. At no point should anybody ask me to remove my name from anything involving with Dance Champions because 
they should be proud to say they associated with me. I don't care if 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 a thousand people or everybody they know, if you only, if only people you selling tickets to know Marty and that's what they think, then you have a small circle of people that you know in this life. Because if somebody don't like somebody, I know a bunch of people that don't know this person, that don't have that opinion. And I felt also feel as though is when somebody come with that, all that sitting back, letting it go down, some that's when you step in and you correct it. All that, I ain't feel like getting like that. I don't feel like that. I don't do that shit to them damn shit. But somebody come to me sideways about one of them crews, I step right in and let them know, no, that's not the case. Rather, if it's a friend, family member, cousin, brother, I'm not doing that because I'm rocking the fuck out. And any of them that agree that I should have took my name off the product because... We can gain up, gain some business with somebody. If motherfuckers don't want to associate with what we doing as how we present it, then it, that's it. We should not have to change our ways. If they're not changing nothing to deal with us, nothing. So if we're not, we're not. I'm not changing nothing to deal with them, and they, they don't. I guess those who don't look at it like that, oh, not hurting nobody's motherfucking. But I never had a dancer come back to me and say, oh, Marty, by me dancing with you, I didn't get this gig. They didn't want me in this crew. I couldn't do this show. None of that. I ain't never, I ain't never. I, people have used my name to get in shows. People have used my name to get on stage. Motherfucker have used my name to get in rehearsals and shit like that. I don't want to hear that bullshit about a bad rep. That's that small circle of closed-minded motherfuckers that they sit around in that little circle that they travel the fuck around. There's those motherfuckers that's doing it. And motherfuckers that's supposed to be dance champions riding the fuck around doing all my fucking shows and shit. And correcting these motherfuckers after all these years. I guess that's what's what the fuck they think. Because apparently, the uh, all those uh, Taj and, uh, well, not necessarily Eric and all those who are Grease and who feel as though Justin and all the motherfuckers that felt as though that shit should have went like that. Y'all motherfuckers are the reason why a lot of shit go down like that. Because y'all motherfuckers don't correct motherfuckers when they say it. And if you do, you do a poor job at it. Because motherfuckers that come to me and talk about y'all motherfuckers, I put them in their place. You got to understand, I know a whole bunch of other motherfucker dancers outside of just dance champions this style of dancing. And if I invite them to my show and they start talking that shit about, oh, them gay boys on your stage and this, that, and the third, I don't fucking sweat them and I don't change y'all to get their business. So I'm not changing shit about dance champions, my name associated with it to get any motherfuckers that do that shit, that America Best Dance School style of dancing, any of them motherfuckers or any dance company, I'm not changing shit. They need to take it the way it is. Because if I was doing their show, I accept them and I wouldn't change shit about what the fuck they doing. That shit was dead wrong. And all them motherfuckers need to clarify what the fuck they mean and all these changes they want for me. But they don't even post a fucking flyer that got their name on it, not even my motherfucking name. So I don't even, I don't get it. And, and, and until... They, some of them explain what the fuck they mean to me about, oh, is this what it was? Because to me, that was out of line to ask me to take my name off something to get somebody to make, I guess, to make it better. How is it going to be better when y'all motherfuckers ain't even going to promote the show less than a month the fuck away? Ain't nobody put a fly out there. How you want a bigger crowd and y'all just want to blame a bigger crowd strictly on Marty, strictly on... Oh, Marty, it's because of Marty, ain't nobody coming to the fucking shows. Like, every crew travel to fuck with y'all, fuck out. But you know there's options. So don't ever think y'all gonna come for me and tell me to move my name off my motherfucking product. Not just mine, me, Tim's. Oh, this is all of our product. But I'm, I'm a main person on this product. Don't tell me to move my name off it to get anybody's fucking business. Y'all okay. friends, y'all okay. families, now y'all little roadies. I'm gonna okay. fuck about them if they don't want to come to a Marty show. Okay. Fuck they so, you, all you get for ten dollars is a talent show, not a fucking concert. I don't know who the fuck y'all keep saying. Oh, people don't like the venues. They don't like this. I done seen them go to shows in fucking rec centers at the same fucking price. I don't like to hear that bullshit. Okay, so uh, it's a wrap now. You just went off. You just told them how the fuck was, and uh, you gonna leave it at that, Mr. Dan Champion. <sighs> Alright, it's a wrap. We out. <laughs>